You can tell a lot about an individual by his friends, but also these days, more importantly, by their enemies. You know, when CNN, the Washington Post, the New York Times are going after the guy, a conservative in the primary, that should tell you everything you need to know. <laughs> no, no, seriously, like, right? They don't want to run against someone that's confident. They want to run against a weakling because they're used to that. And by the way, being a weakling Republican in Washington, D.C. is actually a decent existence. Right, you can do what you want, you're still liked at home, they assume you're right because you're in rooms like this telling people what they want to hear, but the media, they leave you alone. The Democrats, they leave you alone because they know when it matters you will fold every freaking time. We've seen that. We're sick of it. But what's nice is that like people are actually waking up. Yes. I say this, people are like, oh my god, I can't believe you said this. Like, no, we actually maybe needed a Joe Biden. Right? We saw what we had, yeah. we see what we're getting now, and we've seen how quickly it can disappear. Yeah. They're not buying it. Maybe we needed the pendulum to overcorrect so quickly. I you know say, like the one place the Democrats have overperformed is I thought it would take them like four years to destroy the country, not one. <laughs> <laughs> They're crushing it. <laughs> like, no, but we can disagree on policy. We can disagree on some things of the finer aspects of you know, international policy. Uh, fiscal policy, but when I'm sitting there as an American, and Eric, you can speak to this yes. much better than I can as a former uh, Navy SEAL, but I'm watching Afghanistan and the withdrawal. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. there's no consequence yes. in not getting anything done. It's just, uh, it doesn't matter. You know, we see it time and time again, uh, and, and it never ends. So, you know, my whole thing is just fighting for people who I know will fight. People understand it because they've been lied to for so long and it's so ridiculous and so extreme that they've had enough. Uh, and, and I think, again, that's why we have such a good chance, but we have to have the guts to do it. You see, they can cancel the most powerful people in the world, yeah. whether they're musicians, whether they're me, whether they're the president of the United States. They'll go after you, and they will, with reckless abandon. But if we get there together and we actually all go out there, rather than sending one guy out at a time, that they can just pick them off each and every time, then we actually have a chance, guys. But again, if we're not forced into silence, if we're not forced into apathy, if we are unafraid, we speak our minds, we can actually win these things best. They've opened up the door, Trump opened up the door in a certain way, and their derangement against him opened up the door for all of us to sort of step through and actually start pushing back. That people are finally fed up and seeing it. So despite what we're up against, despite all the obstacles that they're able to throw, we can actually do this, but we cannot do this by staying the same on our side either. You know, like I said, I, I love I, I love seeing a room like this. Because a few years ago you would have never even thought about it that way. As a you know, conservative movement, it, it, it just wouldn't happen. So to see that, I mean this is exactly what scares the hell out of these guys. Um, and we got to keep that going. So, uh, you know, Eric, thank you so much for doing. You're welcome, brother. Doing what you're doing. Yeah, thank, thank you for you. being in the fight. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.